Hi, I'm Dr. Rahi Victory, your host today for finding out what are the top five things you can do to improve your chances with the frozen embryo transfer. So today we're gonna to discuss what the top five supplements or adjunct treatments are for improving your chances of success for doing a frozen embryo transfer. Now obviously everybody has their own protocol and people have tried all sorts of different therapies and adjuncts and treatments to get the very best outcomes possible. Today, we're gonna to review some of the things we know here at Victory Reproductive Care can make the difference between success and failure when you're doing your frozen embryo transfer, or FET for short. So let's talk about number one. One of the newest and best treatments that is available on the market and that we've incorporated is the use of platelet-rich plasma, or PRP. In studies that looked at PRP use for per people that had recurrent implantation failures, the difference was absolutely huge. For the patients that got PRP, they had almost a 40% chance of success. And for the patients that were in the control group, they had only a 5.6% chance of success. You're talking about a almost eight fold difference in your chance of having a pregnancy huge. So if you have the opportunity to get PRP done and you've had previous failures, it is definitely something you should consider. Number two is the use of letrozole when you're doing a frozen embryo transfer cycle. There are different ways to do a frozen embryo transfer. You can have a natural cycle, an artificial hormone cycle or hormone replacement cycle, or you can have kind of a blend where there's a little bit natural and a little bit of hormones, and that's where letrozole comes in. Letrozole is a drug which will kind of help your body naturally get stimulated to produce the hormones we need, including estrogen and progesterone, to optimize your chances of getting your embryo to stick and stay stuck. So what are the chances with letrozole? It was a 54% increase in your chances of success of live birth when you used letrozole versus a hormone replacement cycle with all that estrogen and progesterone. Why is it different? Because when you use letrozole versus estrogen, not only do you get a better chance of success, but you also have lower chances of risks of things like high blood pressure, preterm labor, and so on. And even miscarriage in some studies has been shown to be lower when you use the letrozole protocol instead of the hormone replacement cycle uh, protocol. So definitely consider using letrozole. Number three, Viagra, it is not just good for the guys. Viagra, when used vaginally, can significantly improve blood flow and there are numerous studies that show that it can impact the immune system and immune milieu around the embryo when it's trying to implant. In studies that looked at Viagra, live birth rates were 31% higher when you introduced Viagra into the vagina during the stimulation phase for a frozen embryo transfer. 31%, that is again, a huge increase in success. So it's a simple thing to do. It's actually not very expensive and it can lead to much improved results compared to what you've seen before. The next one that people talk about all the time is embryo glue. Embryo glue is also known as hyaluronic acid and it's something that can be added into the culture media with the embryo when it's being thawed to improve the chances that the embryo will be essentially sticky. Now it's not actually glue, so you're not getting a bottle of Elmer's and squeezing it into the uterus. You're actually getting a special chemical that helps facilitate the embryo to implant into your uterus. Studies that looked at embryo glue showed a 21% increase in live birth rate. These are pretty big numbers. Typically in the fertility world, we're happy when we can see a 5% or a 7% increase in success. This is a 21% increase, which can be really quite huge. And finally, the other big topic that we uh, talk about and adjunct that we use is the HCG wash. So HCG is the pregnancy hormone, and the theory is that when your embryo is forming, it starts to release HCG before it's even arrived in your uterus during its five-day journey through your fallopian tube into the uterus and gestation for a day or two before it implants. During that time, a small amount of HCG is slowly trickling its way out of the embryo into your uterus, and as a result, you're getting some HCG exposure. 
when we do a frozen embryo transfer, you're not getting that unless you're doing it fresh and, not, and you're not seeing that with the frozens. So what can you do? You can actually put some HCG into the uterus, ideally 15 minutes or one five before you do the embryo transfer. In the meta-analysis that looked at this, they demonstrated almost a 30% increase in success. With a very small amount, you only need 500 units of HCG injected near the site where the embryo is gonna go. This helps to prepare the lining to get it ready for the embryo to implant and mimics a more natural cycle. So I hope that you've enjoyed those top five things that can improve your frozen embryo transfer. Let us know what worked for you and share the things that you tried at your clinic that helped make the difference between success and failure. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and follow us on all the various social media platforms we have.